Hi, my name is Stanley Curtis, and I'm the trumpet professor at Colorado State University. And today I'd like to talk to you about preparing for the 2023-2024 Colorado All-State Audition for Trumpet. For this audition, you'll have to prepare two scales, the A-flat major scale, the F-sharp harmonic minor scale, and two etudes from Phil Snedeker's book, Lyrical Etudes. The first thing that you'll need to do is play your scales. Don't neglect practicing your scales. You want to practice them so you put your best foot forward. Make sure that they're even and accurate. Careful coming down from the top of the F-sharp harmonic scale. The E-sharp and the D are fingered the same way on the trumpet with the first valve. So you'll have to control that only with your mouth and tongue level. The first etude is expressive. The tempo marking is serenely, and it tells us that what we want to convey in terms of a mood. Keep the airstream continuous throughout each phrase. Whether the meter is 3-2 or 2-2, the main point is that the half note gets the pulse. At first, you may want to practice this piece with the metronome set on the quarter note, but then when you feel more confident, feel free to then put the metronome on the half note so that you have the right feel for this piece. You'll notice that there are tenuto marks throughout in the first bar, the 10th bar, the 11th and 20th bars. To do these tenuto marks well, I recommend that you elongate them just slightly and give them a slight accent as you play them. Try to keep this tempo steady and then speed up a little at letter A where it says piumoso, which means speed up a little. Pay attention to the dynamic markings. Tone is very important here. Fill up with air at measure 18 so that you have enough to go all the way to the end of this excerpt and sound great. Try to maintain the final forte at least all the way to the downbeat of the last bar. Now I'd like to play the entire first excerpt. The second excerpt is marked Allegro with a metronome at 84 for the dotted quarter note at the target speed. You want to sound clean, have a light approach, and have a consistent tempo, but it's okay if you play slower if that helps you play cleanly and consistently. If you want to get close to the target tempo, you'll probably need to consider using double tongue for the 16th notes. If you don't know how to double tongue yet, You'll want to spend quite a bit of time learning. You can vocalize the double tongue at first, and then play on the trumpet slowly at first, and then gradually faster and faster on things like scales and technical studies. And you can even go, if you have a Arben's grand method for trumpet, there's a nice large section to practice triple tongue and double tongue. This excerpt benefits greatly from a light approach that is responsive to the printed dynamics in hairpins. When you take a breath, make sure it's quick enough to not slow the tempo down. And of course, use a metronome 
to make sure your tempo is consistent. You can start learning the piece slower and then gradually work the metronome marking up a little bit of a at a time. So without any further ado, I'll play you the entire second excerpt. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to check out the CSU Music website, the CSU Trumpet Studio Facebook and Instagram pages, and my own website, trumpetjourney.com. And good luck on your auditions. <laughs>